Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 31 on Gerber file import in ADS. Now Gerber file is a very common CAD format which a lot of uh, manufacturing house use and often at times designer get the Gerber file from their colleagues or manufacturing house or somebody else and we would like to import it into ADS to perform simulation. In my case, I'm using a TI CC2530, which is one of their proven, um, you know, Zigbee transceiver, and it has a reference board here. And from in the website, we could go ahead and download the Gerber files, and usually that's in zip format. And once you unarchive that Gerber file, um, you will see plenty of files there. And Gerber file, one of the peculiar thing is their syntaxes could be totally weird, like in this case. So common extensions are typically .gpr, .gpx, .pho, .art, and for drill file is kind of DRL. But here we can notice there is no such format. So how do we know which file is, uh, you know, the, our actual file which we may want to import? So all these files, uh, we could right click and uh, open it in Notepad Editor. Now if it is an actual Gerber file, usually this will be the syntax of the Gerber file where you will have certain coordinates and then you will have, you know, the the photo plotter pen details. So these are basically different pens of different apertures used in the photo plotter. And what we see here is X and Y coordinate of the polygons or the, or the pen drawing, which it will end up doing. So that's how a typical Gerber file is organized. So for us, because we know it's a two layer board and we could see that from the documentation, we have dot bot and dot top. So these are our two layer files. Now the question is where is the drill file? So usually dot DRL is the extension used for drill file, but here we can see there is no dot DRL. We do have dot DRI. So if we open that file, we notice that it's like a report file, which usually has extension of dot RPT. But this is what um, is telling us about the drill information. And there are total 371 in a number of drills of various sizes. And these are usually the tool codes which are used in a drill file. Our actual drill file in this case is this .drd. So, you know, user can either uh, manually check the format of this file to ascertain which is the file which we want to use, or I'll show you another way in ADS you could, you could figure it out. So let's go to ADS and we'll create a new workspace and let's call this as uh, Gerber import. And whenever you are imp you know, importing a file like Gerber or DXF, it's a good idea to set up the layout technology. And when we create a workspace, we can select the right technology. Now, usually Gerber will be either in inch format or mm format. So for our um, you know, specific purpose, we can select mill as a unit and usually that's, that's um, you know, what will work in most of the cases. But again, we can check what format is the Gerber. Now to import Gerber, we can go to file, import, design. And then from the file type, we can go ahead and select the Gerber or drill file. Now we browse to the same directory where we kept our Gerber file. And from there, uh, you can notice here, we need to switch on all files so that we can see the recommended file. And from the manual checking, we knew that these three files, uh, .bot, .top, and .drd are the ones which we are going to use. So once we include that file, we can also look at the preview. So using this Gerber viewer in ADS, we can look at the layer table. Even if we are not sure, we can have as many layers as we suspect to be loaded into ADS. And then from here, we can check uh, which layer is actually the relevant one for us to import. So if I just switch on the bottom layer and if I zoom in, you could see those aperture pen drawings, which are drawing something like these polygons with different aperture uh, you know, diameter of those. And these are all individual items. So now user will need to decide whether they want to import it as it is, or they would like to merge it uh, so that they can, um, you know, import a proper polygonal representation. So that was a quick Gerber, uh, you know, preview option. Now under options, if the technology is defined inside a Gerber file, you can see this option will be deactivated because it's reading from the file. And here, surely we have an inch, and these are the the format. Now we can look at the layers which we are importing, and if we in the preview we 
decide that there's certain layer which is not relevant for us, we can leave that out uh, from the import process. Also in the drill diameter, we can notice all the tool um, detail, the tool number and the, and the via diameter about that. Right, so once these two options are set, we're going to go ahead and let's call it Kerber 1. And now notice in the options, I have not selected option of auto merge. So I will go ahead and import as it is, um, you know, the file so that we will see how the signature comes out. So if you open the layout, which is basically representing the imported Gerber file, you can notice those individual sections here as was shown in Gerber viewer here. Right, so now if you want to do an EM simulation, this is not a very nice format to have because during EM simulation, each of these individual items might be you know, treated uh, as in an individual manner, causing your mesh to go through the roof. Now, the best way you could do, we can either select layer by layer, or in this case, because it's just a two layer board, I press Control A to select everything. Now we can go to File, Edit, Merge, and make it a union. And now with this union operation, basically ADS will go and, and make it like a union object. And now you can definitely see that things are, are you know, turned into proper polygon. Now, if we have selected auto merge, then during import process, ADS will do this job automatically. So let's quickly check that. So we'll go to file import design. And then this time in options, we'll select auto merge. And let's create a new layout so that we can see a difference. So let's create Gerber 2. And now all the auto merge thing, which we did manually, will, will happen here automatically. Now let's look at Gerber 2 layout and try inspecting the imported design. And surely so, you have everything you know made as a union. So choice again remains on user. If you are importing a large number of layers, um, you know, let's say you have eight layer board, or something, sometime auto merge can slow down your, your entire import process. So you could import as it is, and then in ADS you can switch on uh, one layer at a time and you can do your, your merging operation. So it's all up to designers to do um, and decide how they want to use it. So that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. In next tutorial video, we'll talk about how to take this file and set it up for an electromagnetic simulation.